It's the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z where knowledge is power. How are you all doing this fantastic Saturday afternoon? Me, I'm absolutely fabulous and you too can be fabulous if you detach yourself from the matrix. And if this is your first time watching the show, I ask that you share the information with relatives, friends, co-workers, hell, even the guy that's standing at the bus stop. It is a magnificent way to jumpstart a conversation. And today's conversation is about a Burger King killing that took place in Orlando, Florida. That's right. Check out the story. People are really getting crazy out here because according to the reports, Ashley Mason, who is 31 years old, was purchasing food through a Burger King drive through in Orlando, Florida on 7600 block of East Colonial Drive. She orders her food. The drive through is packed with people, meaning everybody is waiting on their food and just not Ashley, okay? Now, as the story continues, Ashley paid $40 for some food at Burger King. And the line was too long. Her daughter, 13 years old, was also in the vehicle with her and her 13-year-old daughter suspected that Desmond Joshua Jr., who is the employee of Burger King, was talking trash through the drive through window that he actually closed. The 13-year-old girl threw soda can at the drive through window. Soon afterwards, Ashley gets out of her vehicle, bangs on the drive through window, and an employee gives her her money back, which is $40, and asks that she leaves the facility, parking lot, drive through the whole vicinity. After refunding her money, she leaves, goes home in a black SUV, and gets her boyfriend. He's not even her husband. He's her boyfriend, and his name is Kelvin Rodriguez Tormes, T-O-R-M-E-S. He is 37 years old, and he, according to the report, got inside of a white vehicle, white SUV truck, got back to the Burger King with a handgun that Ashley gave him after telling him what took place at the Burger King. Kelvin Rodriguez gets out of the white vehicle, which just happens to belong to SGL Construction Company, which he works for. So he goes to this Burger King in a company vehicle that he works for, and he goes and initially puts Desmond Joshua in a headlock. Employees and witnesses breaks it up. Okay? Mr. Tormes, Kelvin Rodriguez Tormes, goes back outside to his truck, goes into the Burger King again and shoots the man after telling him that he only has two seconds. Two seconds to do what? They had already refunded Ashley Mason her money. See, this is a true example of what I mean by when that which is between a woman's legs will get you in a lot of trouble. Because if you continue to read the story, you will find out that Kelvin Rodriguez Tormes told Ashley that he messed up. He messed up because he ended up shooting Desmond Joshua. Shot him to death over some food that wasn't even hers anymore because they refunded her the money. Who goes to Burger King and orders $40 worth of food 
How much are they Whoppers? I mean, the man got killed over some Whoppers and a fry. Now, I've heard of the chicken thing at Popeye's with the chicken sandwich, but to be murdered over a Whopper sandwich and some fries is outrageous. Does anybody know anybody like that? The young man, Desmond Joshua, just had started working at Burger King. 22 years old, just getting his life started, wasn't bothering anybody. And mind you, no one else got out of their vehicles to complain about not getting their food in time because of the lines was long. Only this individual, which is Ashley Mason. Shortly after, law enforcement apprehends Mr. Rodriguez Tormes. And soon afterwards, Ashley Mason is apprehended. Now, to tell you how stupid that this man was, here he is being charged with possession of a firearm, first degree murder, and possession of a firearm while on while being a felon. So he wasn't even supposed to have a firearm, but according to the reports, Ashley gave him his own gun after she sped off somewhere, came back later with Rodriguez. And he took the handgun and he shot and killed Desmond Joshua Jr. over a Whopper sandwich with fries. What kind of world do we live in? And yes, it's hot outside. So I'm sweating. But I cannot believe this story. But it's actually true. Do you know anybody, not even in Chicago, where they kill you? Over a Burger King Whopper with some fries. This is the type of time that we're living in. These are the type of people that we deal with. Even people who work in fast food restaurants are not safe. And if you two are a research monkey like I am, you will find these videos going viral all over social media. And like I said, if you want to know where the video is, just type in Burger King employees get killed over food that's late. Everybody's in the line waiting on their food. She's the only one who got out of her vehicle to be disrespectful. And even after they refunded her money, she came back with her boyfriend to have her kill him. Now, what did she expect that he was going to do? with the gun after she gave it to him. Mind you, she gave him the story of what happened. And Desmond Jr., excuse me, Desmond Joshua, according to the story and witnesses, didn't do anything wrong. He was just doing his job. So you get killed at a fast food restaurant for doing your job there's nothing you can do if the drive through is full of people. So now I want you viewers out there, tell me, what is this world coming to over a Whopper sandwich and some French fries and a small drink? I'm just saying, what's that Burger King, you know? Burgers, fries, soda. You may have some fake chicken nuggets and all of that good stuff. But for the main thing, it's for burgers and fries. Who gets killed over burgers and fries? And they already got their money back. Ashley, Mo Ashley Mason, too, has been charged with first degree murder. And she should. And she should be found guilty. And Kelvin Rodriguez, he's just stupid because he allowed some woman to tell him about an incident that took place at Burger King and her food was late? He's just plain stupid. I don't even know how he got a construction job at SGL. Can anybody tell me that? 
Let me ask you a question. If you was at Burger King and you were in a line, would you get out of your vehicle to bang on the window? Would you allow your child to throw a soda can at the drive through window? Because of the process that it has to take and time that it takes to get you your food? Who does that? And after you look at after you look at the video or read the story and you see how these people look, meaning see how Desmond Joshua look and see how Kelvin Rodriguez and Ashley Mason look. Now, to me, that could be labeled as a hate crime, not only as a murder, but a hate crime. And why do I say that it could be labeled as a hate crime from my perspective? Because Ashley Mason is white. Kelvin Rodriguez is a Spanish dude, obviously. So they daughter, I don't know if that's his daughter, but he's with a mom. And Desmond Joshua Jr. is black. White girl, Karen, tells her boyfriend she got a problem at Burger King because she didn't get her food on time. But she got her money back. I wonder if she told him that. I wonder if she told him that she got her money back. I'm just saying. So you let me know what you think. If that's a hate crime or do you think that Mr. Rodriguez is just plain stupid for actually killing a person over some burgers and a fry and a small drink? Burger King food. It's not even real food. It's fake food. Who gets killed over fake food? Anybody want to let me know? I would appreciate your comments in the comment section. <laughs> Another tragedy. Another tragedy, you all. Here we are in America. So you tell me. I would love to hear from you. It's your brother, M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, where knowledge is power. And remember, it is your third eye that makes you shine like jewelry. Thanks for watching.